What's up everyone, this is the Apple reseller here. Today I'm going to do a video on whether the MacBook Air 13 inch is still worth it in 2017. So for this video, I will be using a 2013 MacBook Air, but you can apply some of these things to other years from 2010 and newer because they all have the same design. Apple pretty much just upgraded the internal, but the model I'm using has a 1.3 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor. This is Haswell. 8 gigs of RAM, Intel HD 5000 GPU, and it does have a 256 gigabyte SSD. So let's start off with the design of the MacBook Air. So even though this design is from 2010, it still holds up pretty well for today. It's still thin and light and sturdy as well. You still get normal ports on this computer, so you're not going to need dongle. On the left side, you get a MagSafe, which is really nice a USB port and a headphone jack. And on the right side, you get an SD card slot, another USB port and a Thunderbolt port. And let's not forget, you still get that light up Apple logo. The MacBook Air display is outdated by today's standard as it's only a 1440 by 900 display and the color isn't that good. Another issue with the display is the viewing angle. If you look at the display straight, you can get a decent view, but if you look at it tilted, the color starts to get washed out. Another thing that looks outdated is the bezel. Here it is compared to a 17-inch MacBook Pro. As you can see here, the MacBook Air bezel is very thick. The MacBook Air keyboard and trackpad both hold up very well for today. The keyboard still gives you plenty of travel, unlike the newer MacBook and MacBook Pro keyboard, and also it's quieter. While the trackpad on the MacBook Air is not force touch, it's still a good trackpad. The MacBook Air has pretty good performance in terms of booting up apps as it has an SSD. I will launch everything in my dock. As you can see here, everything launches pretty much instantly. The MacBook Air does have a low-end Intel processor and a basic Intel GPU, so it wouldn't really do well for intense tasks. However, you can do video editing with the MacBook Air. It will just be slower and not as fast as like a MacBook Pro. If you do plan to do a lot of intense tasks, you should get a MacBook Pro instead. The MacBook Air would be good for someone who just wants to do daily tasks such as web browsing, listening to music, check email and that sort of stuff as the MacBook Air is very quick with its SSD and also very thin and light. If you do want to get a MacBook Air, I would say get one with 8 gigs of RAM and at least 256 gigabyte of flash storage so that it's more future proof and you can store more stuff on it. You should look for a used MacBook Air instead of a new one because it's going to be a lot cheaper. You can get a 2012 or 2013 model with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte of storage for under $500. You just have to look hard enough. If you must buy a new MacBook, I say you should just get the MacBook Pro. Even though it's $300 more than the MacBook Air, it's a lot nicer. And the 2017 MacBook Air is just a 2015 MacBook Air with a slight processor speed increase. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe to me. I will really appreciate it and I'll see you all next time.